This game could take forever. It's uh, 180 plus 180. So, again, we want to take our time over the moves, so it's a good practice session, especially playing against higher, the higher echelon of. Let's just do what we normally do. And the opponent's moving fast as well, though, so that's quite refreshing. So we'll castle here. Gives us a chance to have a look. We'll still do the stuff that we do normally, but it always really does depend on what the opponent does. So we're reacting, trying to keep things as normal as possible for ourselves. If the quirky stuff comes in, that's probably where we get a bit of an imbalance in the game. So we're not too familiar with that type of position, etc. And then it starts going a little bit wrong. But if we can try and keep the concepts that we've worked on to keep us familiar with the position, it should stand us in good stead to have a half decent game. Knight's coming, it's attacking the pawn. Our knight could develop and just support the pawn. So yeah, it could go for come on, could go on forever and ever. 180 plus 180. So it's never going to finish. In a sense, it, you basically one of us has to get an end. Or we get the draw, whichever way. So you can't win on time. This me chance to have my coffee. Hopefully it might improve me calculation or just enhance the calculation process. Because the longer long <clears throat> the longer games they're all also you go through the pain, don't you? So they're looking for the fianchetto type thing to get to here. I think I'm gonna to want to move my knight out of the way, but I can't because this pawn here. Now in one of those previous matches it said push the pawn onto the knight. But he does have his knight here, but the bishop is actually x-raying at the minute. So I'm actually going to push onto the knight with the pawn. That was just one from one of those recent games that we saw where it kept on insisting pushing the pawn onto the knight. We have got castled, so fairly comfortable now. We can start attacking a little bit. Just with a general idea here, but they could just attack here and and then push down and then my bishop is kind of trapped because then this pawn can come but it's got nothing supporting it at that moment but it would have this pawn supporting it so my bishop would get trapped if they played that sort of line so in essence I probably would just take the knight off the board now that we know that so little tiny things like that doing a bit of forward calculation just realizing well feels good attacking here but they also have this i don't actually have to move the bishop i could just take their knight off the board then they take and then they've opened up their rook onto this file is that what we really want to do our please pieces are ready to fight on the queen side so in a sense in essence it shouldn't be too bad should it so i've got options letting them take because then the knight would be able to take back anyway at some point you'd think if they did attack, if we took, can't take back just yet, so the pawn maybe takes. If the pawn takes, then our bishop escapes, doesn't it? So we wouldn't expect that. Oh, they've actually captured. So the knight's coming here. We've got like a two on one on the knight with the next ray through. So this is probably where we're expecting this pawn to come here. So it'll be an even exchange again if we decide to take the knight off the board. But we've got to bear in mind if we do drop it back, 
they do have that element there of trapping our bishop so we may as well just take the knight off the board based on what we've calculated might be totally wrong but that's the way i see that Bishop still continuing with this diagonal on here. Didn't really want them to have that diagonal because it's a bit uncomfortable. So the knight could take, bishop takes, bishop takes, and it's like a straight exchange. Um, we could keep that bit of tension, maybe push onto this pawn here just to see what it's doing. What we don't want is for them to win tempo back somehow. I mean, knight coming maybe the knight moves then he's going to have two on there but he just can't move this if we push this pawn onto this pawn if he takes the queen's opened up a little bit and it's also opening the dark square bishop I think I'm just pushing onto this pawn here until such time as they decide to attack whichever way in fact they're probably going queenside castling because they're fed up of this um, pin thing So if the castle maybe take with the bishop because that's the one that's most likely to get hit with this pawn here take with the knight bishop takes yeah take the bishop off if we take with the bishop bishop takes knight knight doesn't have to take though that's the thing knight can stay there castles bishop takes Bishop takes, pawn takes, but on their bishop twice. So they're not going to like them apples, are they? Okay, so that looks like an interesting. So they've taken the pawn first, so are we falling into it? And then they castle. So we'll still have that two on one situation, won't we? If we did it the other way around, then the knight's on the rook, isn't it? So it's kind of forcing them to take. But it does have this knight here that's defending all the, all the time, so it's not really a two on one, is it? Ah, so hold your horses, hold your horses. Uh, do, 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 do. Take the knight. Maybe the knight takes don't have to do anything really queen's protecting here bishop could come and attack the knight they've offered a draw i will take the draw sorry people <laughs> oh dear me let's take a look at the analysis on that one um Oh, he's got he said good luck this time that means we're kind of getting mashed up now then <laughs> okay all right then so let's um develop the night i'm gonna have to have a look at the analysis on that first one though because obviously <laughs> <clears throat> i don't think it was a drawn position per se maybe they're going to struggle a little bit but they had the knight supporting They might have just been respecting the position. You never know. So as we do normally, just bring the pawn here, supporting the pawn. If the bishop takes. And this pawn's dropping now. Maybe the queen's coming here. No, it's not. It's supporting this attack here, isn't it? So if we just bring the bishop here, 
we know this is coming so then that takes then the night oh no okay let's develop the night it's the same format again 180 plus 180 so we have plenty of time let's see if we can get castled so the jumping down let's just take the pawn off the board don't really want to make it too complicated and overthinking the situation this pawn wants to jump onto the knight does the knight have a space yes attacks the um, knight here so let's castle yep so it's got space here to attack the knight takes so we could take with the knight or could take with the queen now if we take with the knight then it does have this pawn that is looking to get back into the game pushes down maybe if we take with the queen the knight takes the pawn comes across and then he's got we can hit the head of the snake with this so let's go with the queen taking so idea oh he's taken straight away okay so looking at trying to hit the head of the snake here knights come down let's hit the head of the snake before it causes any trouble yeah they're playing real quick so we can take but these rooks can be owning the file but let's take I think the river might work for us this pawn might be really strong stopping the knight jumping here and then we look for the exchanges if we have the time the knight is protecting this square quite nicely so hopefully we can bring the rook here looking to exchange off let's attack the rook they're playing really quick now so maybe they were upset at that first game so now we're looking to get the rooks doubled up somehow so if we can get to this one if the rook takes pawn takes then we're on his knight his knight jumps to attack the pawn we're pushing again and then he's just jumping here attacking the pawn and then i suppose this rook can come here supporting the pawn i don't know that looks a bit crazy but ownership of the file is key i mean this would be nice that would be nice getting this here to x-ray through to the rook but none of those are there at the minute so we could attack the knight see where he wants to go so then kind of making them do something I'm not bothered about doubling the pawns you know the bishop can take okay right so let's go with hitting the knight here they do take so look to double the pawns that's fine so the knight moves or the rook takes whichever i think the knight's moving so we could go here i'm not going to do that too quickly so if he goes there he's protecting this square isn't he so the bishop can't really go there that's the only decent square that it's going to go to which is a bit of a shame so the rook could go here and if his rook takes then the bishop takes but then the rook comes here is on our bishop and if our rook comes to defend it's all about ownership of this file and i don't think i've got it unless of course i take then he takes Can I bring my bishop all the way back down again just to get supported here? Hmm. Ownership of the file is important. Oh. Uh, yeah, he takes, bishop takes, rooks on. Maybe we just bring the bishop back. Just bringing the bishop back. He might just move his rook out of the way now, but at least we will be all in the file. Yes, yeah, gonna take. So at least we've got the position that we kind of wanted. But is this knight gonna jump all over us now? Is he 
got a magic square. Well, they're a lot higher rated than us, so, you know, I'm not going to beat myself up about this. So we get the king involved. I mean, the knight's jumping here, then he's got... Oh, do 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 white squares. My bishop is not in the best place, is it? I need to move my king, don't I? Uh, look at all these pawns. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to be better coming up this way. His knight comes and puts a check on us. We move up. Does he have a fork of some sort? He's got kind of free reign to jump anywhere, hasn't he? I think the king moving this way is going to be better rather than trying to get it in the center because we've got double pawns we probably need to start so he's gone in so he does have da -da 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 -da, he's got that um, my bishop now my bishop what can my bishop do Anything else? Do I mobilise this pawn up? Let's just push this pawn. I'm just trying to meet these and then, because I've got two rhino heads here to hopefully deal with these pawns. But I think his king can just come down hit. Yeah, look at he's doing it. So if I just hold this like this, maybe. And do do do. Just do a momentary attack on the pawn so all his pieces going to be on white squares now um, let me see I'm going to have to bring my bishop back here look at that time racked up <laughs> oh ok Moving up can't be that bad, can it? Up. It's got this. Oh, it's got my pawn. Let's move up. Idea to try and go here, here, here. You're just gonna peel more pawns off, isn't it? Up he goes. Mm-hmm. So he's gonna have a far pawn or a cent or this pawn here. In fact, man it can come down here as well. Okay, let's just push this pawn. He's, he won't take a draw now, he's up a pawn. So he's gonna get lively with his knight. Comes here. I think my pawns are getting obliterated. <laughs> oh, I can feel it in the water. He jumps here, comes round to here, attacking this pawn. I suppose my bishop can come here to defend, but I've only got one pawn against two pawns here, so my bishop's been overworked. Maybe I shouldn't have brought my king around there. Maybe I can start bringing my king around here now. It's going to be too slow, isn't it? Can these pawns look after themselves? It's, uh, probably. So I think I could come down and go around. Is he looking to trap? Let's bring the king down and see if we can do that. He might block us from moving here. Yeah, damn, he's blocked us. Damn it. Let's attack the pawn again. He's not going to go for a draw. He's going to use the power base here. What did I just say? So grab. Get the king across. Is there a fork? Please don't let there be a fork with that knight. Uh, it's gone onto a white square. We come down. Right, before I move, is there a fork? He can't come here. He can come there, put a check on. Smooth the king. 
I think these can look after themselves, but I'm not sure. So he does come for us. He's got my bishop and the pawn. Oh, he's got my pawn. It's not a check though on my thing. So I can move here. But then he pushes the pawn down. Oh, okay. Let's take the pawn. If he takes here, then maybe we can try and salvage some of If he takes the bishop, maybe that might work for us. No, he doesn't. Right. So he's on this pawn here. So we're going to have to push this pawn up. Oh dear, 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 dear. Bit tense, bit tense. Well, as you can see, we're playing a lot higher rated players, so this is um, good experience. These are the sort of games we need to be playing. Always be mindful, as I've probably mentioned before. Um, it might look good on playing these 2200s and 2100s and 2000s, etc. But, oh, let's see. Now, can my bishop get into the game? Here, maybe here at some point, and then to here. still going to lose pieces I don't know what his plan is down down yeah it's down to come and attack the pawn yeah just uh, knock off like 500 400 points even 600 points Oh, do you know what though? I can't go there because his knight will just take and then the pawn takes and then it's all jammed in. And then he's got that passer. Oh, he's got my pawn again. Oh, I'm getting sick of this now. Let's go. And he's got my bishop. Oh, let's go here. Oh no, he's just giving the knight up. <laughs> oh, that's funny. He's offered a draw. Um, do you know what? I'm going to decline the draw this time. It might still be a draw just because I've got a bishop, but uh, it doesn't mean any. It doesn't mean anything, does it? What was I saying? Yeah, just knock off 400 to 500 points. In some cases, even 600 points off of the ratings that you see on here, because um, I'm no high-rated player, but the better games that I can play, the stronger games that I can play um, are playing in these areas here in the 2000s and stuff but that doesn't mean I'm a 2000 rated player because I'm not um, okay so if we brought the bishop here and then if he pushes his pawn then the pawn takes put with a check on his king his king moves across then he does have a passer Bring the bishop here so we have a minor piece up but games like this can end in draws as well it, the evaluation might show that it is a draw when we go to it so he's gone for let's do the same it's same similar type of thing so now we need to get our king across here well the bishop's defending that pawn isn't it so we need to get our king up here to lean on this pawn. Uh, but we're going to lose that pawn, aren't we? We're going to lose our pawn. It's going to end up being a draw. If we move up. Then his king's at the side of his pawn, and then he pushes his pawn down. Oh, damn, we might even lose this. Oh, man.
man, I think we might even lose this. I just realized. We go up, he keeps pushing, bishop takes, then his king takes. Uh, yeah, it might be a draw after all. I don't think my bishop's going to be any use to me. We might zig zug swag him. So then he has to move away from his um, pawn blocks. I need to drink my coffee. Or they might just resign. Let's take. Put the check on. Moves back. So I think we potentially could Zug Zwang them, I think. Because he has to move somewhere, doesn't he? I don't know if it's a good Zug Zwang though, because it can still come here. I'm never going to get to this pawn, am I? So if I do some sort of movement here, he's still going to look to protect his... On. I bet there's a rhythm somehow. We've got plenty of time. Uh, there must be some sort of rhythm. Maybe the bishop coming here. Then he comes down for the bishop. Bishop comes here. Then he can't go to this square anymore. Let's try that. Smallest of potatoes. I don't want to lose the rhythm. He might come down and get this as a passer and all hell breaks. Look, oh, in fact, you know, he could do, you know, because if he gets rid of my pawn, I can't get it promoted. Oh, dear me. I'm overthinking this. So it's come down. So if we do go here, he can't no longer. He can no longer go back to here, but he can come here. Our king can drop, but then he comes back again, protecting the pawn, which is a bit annoying. Protects the pawn. Feels like we're never getting that tempo. So if we come back, it just goes back up again. King comes down and he just drops again. I think we we'll have to be brave. Go there, we know he's coming here. He come here, comes to protect. Do we bring the bishop here? Because then he's coming for our pawn, bishop comes here. If he takes himself all the way Mind you, then bishop comes here, then he just comes back again, protecting the pawn. T 
Sanction can come across, then he has to. Then we would have Zug Zwanged him. Let's give that a try. We have to find that Zug Zwang position. That looked good, but there's so many arrows there, I've probably messed it up. So it comes there, we drop. It comes here, we bring the bishop here because he's coming for the pawn. He comes back up. Oh, yeah, he comes back up there. Maybe that's why I was thinking bringing the king here because then the king can't go back up. They've resigned. Excellent.